it is definitely without a doubt the dog days of summer here on our summer of 50 Pittsburgh tech stories with Comcast. And I say dog days in a good way because it's just like I want the summer to last forever. You reach that point in summer, we're like, oh, it's been so hot for so long. But I don't care because I think we're, we're more than halfway through our storytelling. And I don't want it to end because I'm talking to great people like Crystal Morrison here that are people in Pittsburgh. I mean, I, every day when I do this, I just get so excited because I'm talking to somebody new that just has an incredible story that I'm excited to get out there. And Crystal's got an incredible story. I, she's, I'm gonna say that she's incredible stories. <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to focus on one Oral, of them. definitely. Exactly, because she's one of the busiest people I know. I mean, first and foremost, your, your day job <laughs> is Everize. You do some great work there. You're raising a family, and now you have a startup that you're, that you're, that you're building <laughs> called, called, called uh, the Meerkat Village, which, which is part of the Integrated Village, which you've done. And so I'm just so excited to talk about what you're doing with, with Meerkat Village because you were on Tech Vibe Radio a few weeks ago, and I was like, Crystal, we got to talk more in depth. So welcome to the show, Crystal. Thanks for being here. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, Jonathan. Nothing like my convoluted intro to kind of wind it around the whole time. <laughs> you, you, got, you got it. We got there. We got there. <laughs> we got there. We got there. So first and foremost, if, if anyone doesn't know who you are, give us your quick background and what you do, especially with like Everize, because that's a great company. And then yeah. we're going to jump into this whole thing. Like you got enough on your plate. So let's let's do a startup while we're at it. <laughs> you know, Jonathan, you were you were spot on when you said Crystal's got some stories. <laughs> yeah, my my journey is pretty, pretty crazy. One. Um, the quick background is that I am a scientist by training. Yeah. Um, originally from Arkansas, which is a great story too. Um, but no, I, I'm a scientist by training. My background's in chemistry. I, I did my research work at the University of Michigan and then did a postdoc out at Los Alamos National Lab. Wow. Was there for a long time, worked okay. in military and defense crazy stuff, and then <laughs> moved here to Pittsburgh to work in industry. And um, my position before I started Everrise, I was the global R&D leader at PPG for industrial coatings. Nice. So I've had this great career as a scientist and R&D leader and in global roles. And I started Everrise to, to focus on developing leaders and strategy and technical companies. And so I've done all of this, and at the same time, I, I'm a mom of three kids, uh, I'm a wife, I'm, I'm an athlete, I'm like all of these things, so Crystal <laughs> has so many stories for yes, you. you I, I told everyone you got a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and now I'm uh, working with uh, some other folks to get Integrated Village off the ground, of course. Absolutely. And so let's get into this because it's just such a cool concept what you're doing, the meerkat village part of integrated village. Yeah. And how it helps, you know, children, you know, that, that have have some some I guess uh disabilities I mean, yeah. of all types and kinds and being able they all have this support group around them, whether it's counselors or doctors and and and, and people that are in the family and an idea of how you can put them all into one platform so they can be connected. All at the same time, I thought was just so cool, and obviously something that's a passion of yours based on, on your experience with, yeah. with, with, with your children. And but you're like thinking, well, let's start a company around this. So yeah. give, give us the story about how this all kind of came together because I love startup stories. I think they're so yeah. cool about how things kind of fall into place, and you just know you're meant to do them at some point. So tell us about that. Yeah, it's it's so true. So. Um, uh, my good friend and, and business partner, Dan Richardson, uh, Dan and I met uh, a couple years ago, you know, as I mentioned before, at an Uprise competition information ses session. And he has spent his entire career working with children and families and educators on how to more effectively help children that have social, emotional, and behavioral challenges, mm -hmm. help them not only you know survive but thrive of course in right. a school setting and a home setting and he's done some really amazing work and as we got to talking some of the things that we're talking we were talking about immediately resonated with me as a mother as a mother of three kids um three kids that have come into my life in completely different ways <laughs> and three kids that have you know really unique needs mm -hmm. and so that 
that uh, Dan had the concept from Meerkat Village. He had the concept in his mind and, and we were talking about how we could bring it to life and make it a reality. Right. And so that's what we've been doing for the past two years. And there's lots of side stories that go along yeah. with that for sure. Two years, which I'm sure has gone by super fast, but two yeah. years is a hunk of time just to get from this, we think this is a cool idea. We both yeah. are passionate about it to wait. We got actually got to put a business plan to this. I mean, it's yeah. only we have a passion to create something, but it doesn't mean anything if, if someone's not going to buy it or use it or deploy Absolutely. it or, or whatever that is. So you got to make sure that it's something that hits all the requirements, which like I said, is no easy task. So you just mentioned all these things that you do during the course of the day. How do you say to yourself, I'm going to do this and make it happen and fit that into your 24 hours that yeah. you only have to get stuff done in the course of the day? Are you sleeping less? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, a couple of things, and, and this will get into the more more personal side of it. I, I know we that's part of what we kind of want to talk about. But you know, when you're when you're with Dan and and you you hear about these stories and you know about my story as a parent and you know what what Dan makes it so clear is that the ability for us to empower families to give them tools to help their children to give yeah. teachers and therapists real tools to help these kids that is within our power like it is totally within our power and his excitement about what's possible his um you know commitment after a 30-year career in this area is contagious mm. um so that in combination with my own experience as a parent, um, you know, for us, it was obvious that we were going to drive this thing forward, come hell or high water, yeah, right? Definitely, right? Definitely. Um, so it's kind of that, that combination of his, his energy and drive and excitement, his passion for what he's doing and, and my own, um, you know, experience as a mother and, and how much I know that Meerkat Village would have changed my life if I had it 14 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if I had had it, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Right. Very, very cool. I mean, that's why I I can see the passion in you for this thing. And I just think that's the extra sauce where you find that time in the day because of something you just know, you're compelled. You got to do it. So tell me yeah. about the name. So, uh, so it was funny after after Audrey and I wanted to ask you this when you were on Tech Vibe Radio, and it was like we ran out of time, which is why I'm glad we have <laughs> easier our time. And it's here, just like a meerkat can like see all the way around, right? Is is that the idea of like meerkat village? But what's behind the name meerkat? Meerkats are cool. Yeah. So, so this this is a, a cool story, and it's actually something that that I learned. Um, so what what people don't know, you know, I'm I'm a big nerd. I like Nat Geo. So here's our Nat Geo. <laughs> I like Nat segment. Geo facts. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So <laughs> turns out that meerkats exist in these highly collaborative communities uh-huh. where every single adult has a role in making that community thrive including every single adult has a role in rearing and taking care of the children in the community, right? Very cool. Okay. Yeah. And meerkats really fiercely protect each other. They look out for the community. Um, and they also have some pretty highly effective communication methods. It's crazy. Yeah, like, okay, like between what? meerkats. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, you know, the way they chirp at each other and all mm-hmm. this stuff. So it's this very... Um, collaborative community where everybody's on board everybody every meerkat every meerkat Mm -hmm. is on board with the survival of the community and the um, you know the upbringing of the little you know meerkat children (laughs) this is just what your platform does exactly exactly exactly. and so (laughs) that's exactly the story behind meerkat village and and why Dan came up with that that name originally um, is because of this great example we have in nature, right, of how to actually uh, take care of kids and collaborate in their upbringing. Very cool. See, that that's yeah. a great story. It's got some Nat Geo to it as well. Yeah. It's yeah. Extra cool, makes it extra cool. So maybe walk us through like how the platform works. Like like if I were a parent and say I have a child that, that, that that's on the, uh, the autism spectrum and they got their doctors and their counselors and 
and some camps yeah. and things like that. Like, like how would I use this until, and, and, and what I think I love about this is, is that this is HIPAA compliant. So everything is yes. completely secure. So anyone who's part of this group, like it, it, no rules are being broken. All ethics are being upheld to, a, to the highest yeah. level of standards, which is just so important, obviously, because privacy and security is literally on things like this with your children. There can't be yeah. anything more important than that. So walk us through totally. this scenario. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how um, Meerkat Village works, but if you don't mind, Jonathan, I'm gonna expand just a little bit more okay. on the why Surely. and connect that to, to the I love how. It. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, you know, before I talk about how it works, um, you know, Jonathan, we were talking about like my story, and um, you know, I meant I mentioned that 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 there's some personal aspects to it. Mm -hmm. So I am the mother of three awesome kids and they are currently 11 14 and 16. Um, one of my children has special needs and is on the um, autism spectrum okay um, two of my children I adopted uh, one of my ch children I adopted as a baby and one of my children I adopted when he was five and a half years old. Wow. So amazing. That, I did not know that about you. How cool <laughs> yes. is that, man? That's freaking yes. amazing. Yes. Um, so we got extra I, stories to tell, actually. <laughs> I got, we got to have some beer because I got okay. so many stories. Um, but so my family is incredibly unique. Um, you know, I'm a mother in a transracial family. Uh, my kids, like I said, have come to me in lots of different ways. Mm -hmm. um, and what that means is that there have been so many people engaged in the lives of my children right. um, as they've come to me and as I've parented them and as I'm raising them. And so not only in you know the case of my son who has special needs, but also in the case of, of my children who I adopted, there've been countless teachers and therapists and uh, physicians and psychiatrists and different professionals right. yeah, absolutely. Um, absolutely. engaged and mm -hmm. not only for 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 my my son with Asperger's but for all three of my children okay um, and me being the communicator between all of these professionals is extremely important that it's also extremely exhausting and not always effective when you're doing it manually. So that will give you some more perspective, Jonathan, on yes. why when <laughs> I talked to Dan Richardson, I was like, holy cow, yeah. I need you. Yeah. I need you in my life. <laughs> like, Where um, were you? <laughs> yeah, because I oh, have goodness. lived this. I, I have lived it in such a real way. So to get back to your question of how it works, um, Meerkat Village is absolutely HIPAA and FERPA compliant. Mm -hmm. So once a parent um, receives an invitation to start a village from their child, and that parent could receive an invitation from you know, the school district or their insurance uh, provider okay. or perhaps the organization they're receiving services and therapy through, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways that parent can get access to receiving a village. Right. But once that parent receives the invitation to start the village, they create the village for their child, and then they can immediately invite different villagers or adults, uh, right? Yeah, yeah. Or adults that uh, work with their children, they can immediately invite them into the online platform. Now, when they do that invitation, the consent authorization forms and privacy forms and all of right. that yeah, yeah. have to be uh, approved and, and signed off on. And of all of that is done through the invitation process. Wow, so you make it very seamless for that to happen then. As far Pretty as seamless. You're not, you're not chasing down random pieces of paperwork from all over wherever in order to uh, get the authorizations. That's exactly right. Um, mm -hmm. And a specific example of that, the very first village that a parent set up um, they set up the village, created it, invited, I think, maybe five to seven different villagers. All of the villagers that were invited had received the email, um, responded to the consent forms and, and all okay. of that, and were in the platform in less than an hour. 
What? Are you okay. serious? Wow. Less than an hour. That's and, cool. You know, as, as a parent, when I've tried to arrange a phone call with that mm -hmm. many professionals, <laughs> I mean, it, it can take weeks just to get everybody oh, to agree on a time and then weird. weeks before you could even have the call. So this is a game changer in the ability for people to communicate like this. And, and the platform, once people are in, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like a, um, a Slack type platform okay. or an instant Great. messaging platform. Mm -hmm. You can literally exchange messages um, back and forth about, you know, the status of your child, how things are going. But, I just love it because it keeps everybody in the loop. And, and so yeah. like, we can be on the same page so much easier than having to make another call and say, oh, yeah, well, I talked to them. And yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just seeing how it all comes together. I'm thinking yeah. this could be something that works I mean, just, just for your, just your children in general. Say, I mean, if sure. have special needs, just as a family to keep everybody sure. connected, this would be pretty good. I, yeah, it, it's it's true. And I mean, so you're, you're right. You know, we see it as an opportunity with, with children with special needs, you know, social, emotional, behavioral needs. But you can imagine if you have a, a child with, you know, medical needs and you have all these right. professionals engaged, or right. if there's a child in the foster care system um, that has a lot of people engaged in their life, you know, it makes a lot of obvious sense for, for keeping all of these adults on the same page and truly providing the support for these kids and families that's really needed to to create positive outcomes right definitely and so i mean so it also works in the level that that now your child's getting better care as well too so not only yes. are you saving time coordinating the care but now they're actually getting better care because yes. everybody's in the loop so it just, it just works on every level i'm, I'm just like mm -hmm. why has someone not thought about this earlier <laughs> <laughs> well um you know the Let's let's be honest. You know the the system relies still heavily on, on paperwork and fax machines and, and mm -hmm. physical sign offs and a lot of people believe that that doing that increases their you know security and protects well, them in different ways. Yeah, exactly. But you know, and unfortunately, um, that's not the case. Um, but not only can uh, folks that are in the village. Um, just communicate back and forth with people. You know, you talked about a better care, a better, a higher quality of care. Right. You know, we can actually on the platform propose different strategies to help the child. So oh, wow. let's okay. say a, a therapist suggests that, um, you know, a, a visual calendar or a schedule prior to bedtime or different things like that would uh, help improve the transition to bedtime. You know, that therapist can make that proposal and agree, you know, parents or whomever caregivers can agree to carry that out. And then not only can we propose those strategies mm -hmm. and, um, you know, select whether we did them or not, right. we can also track the child's improvement. Oh, so, how do you do that? That's interesting. So you yeah. can actually, okay, very cool. Yeah, so we can actually, um, we do it, it it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward, actually. You know, we just, we define the desired outcomes for the children, the desired behavior, okay. and the undesirable the behavior. And simply, huh. you know, every day, um, the, the, the adults, the villagers, uh, whether it's in a school setting or a home setting, can literally go on and say, you know, uh, today there were, you know, 10 different opportunities for little Billy to have an, a, a meltdown and maybe two of those opportunities, he had undesired behavior and eight, he, he had the desired behavior. He handled it. He was able to navigate it. And so that's what we mean by tracking is not only can we communicate, not only can we propose ideas and agree to do them as adults, we can track whether or not the things that we're doing are actually helping improve right. the outcomes because, as you for the can child. Start to, you can course correct a lot faster, not go six months and then realize something's not working, but you can be two weeks yeah. into it and realize this is not going to work. Heck so we yeah. try something different. Heck yeah. Very not, you know, just for that child. And, and so think about the opportunity there. You know, you are starting to understand what's actually working to improve the outcomes for this child.
-hmm. We've really never done that before. Right. And, and not only could that be impactful for little Billy, right? That could be impactful in understanding completely new approaches to providing care for children that need it Definitely. and more effective approaches. So it's, wow. it's a complete game changer. I love it, man. That's just so cool. So what's it been like rolling this out and getting it into the marketplace? That's always a scary point where you've been working on this for so long yeah. and now it's like it all works, we think, and like, let's get it out and start testing it and get some customers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> there's so, so much to say here. Um, so Dan and I partnered in, in the fall of last year. We had worked with um, some software developers. Um, the fall of last year, we, we partnered with um, three new developers, um, again, to create Integrated Village and roll mm -hmm. the product out. And we have, you know, the product is amazing. We started our beta launch, um, our, our beta release in March. <laughs> and hey, of course, time to start hey, the you know, there's this pandemic, right? Yeah, a little pandemic and, going on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so the pandemic has definitely impacted our ability to get it in the hands of, of people we initially targeted. So childcare facilities. Right, um, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Fall early childhood programs. All right, right, right. So early childhood programs, early intervention programs. So the pandemic definitely impacted our ability to get the beta version in the hands of some of these, these folks. At the same time, if you think about it, the pandemic creates a scenario where the need for Meerkat Village is heightened I was going to say at that point, yeah, the idea that this platform is up and running when this yeah. happens and you're still connected, whether you can go right. to an office visit or not. So Right. right? You're, still, you're still connected with your support system. Right. Um, exactly. And, you know, maybe, maybe your children aren't in school, but if your support system includes a couple of different therapists and providers and their baseball coach and mm -hmm. maybe, you know, their aunt that, you know, is really close. I mean, your support system is not just those professionals. It's, it's even further than that. Right. And so, you know, the real challenge with the pandemic right now, well, there's so many, <laughs> of course. but you know, these kids with, with special needs are not in school, they're not in daycare, and we're not seeing a lot of these things. Mm -hmm. That is a concern for a lot of reasons. It means that there's, there's families that are struggling in a big way, and we're just not seeing it right now. But um, Meerkat Village, to answer your question, our, our beta release was slowed a little bit because of the pandemic. The pandemic, of course, heightens the need for something like Meerkat Village. Um, but even though we've been faced with those challenges, we've continued to roll it out. Um, in fact, we have uh, our first customer. You know, we're a startup less than a year old. We have revenue. <laughs> All right. There you yeah. go. Because um, it's a good product. When you've got a good product yeah. that solves a problem, people are going to buy it, right? That's right. So we are working with our, our first customers, getting them onboarded into the system, getting them uh, you know, up and running and mm -hmm. working with them very closely to figure out how we can provide them, our customers, with everything possible to get themselves onboarded as well as the, the parents, the guardians, and the villagers that are being invited. Right. Oh, what a cool story, like all the way around. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know, like I said, this is one of the things where I'm just, I, I just, it inspires me because I feel like I'm not doing enough. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, I can't imagine doing all that you're doing. At the end of the day, I mean, this is what's making Pittsburgh awesome, right? It's having yeah. men like you that are laying it out in the line like this, putting their skin in the game and just, just giving it all you got. And, uh, you're making Pittsburgh proud. Simple as that. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Keep we, on doing it. Keep on doing it. And I'm going to encourage everyone in our notes here to go check out the website and, and learn more about it because it seems like it's a powerful solution that just helps on so many levels. Crystal, thanks for hanging out with me today. I appreciate course. it so much. Anytime. Anytime. Very great. Once again, this has been Jonathan Kirsting with the Pittsburgh Tech Council and our friends at Comcast helping me tell these awesome stories like what Crystal's doing here. We've got so many more to come this summer. It's going to be so much fun.